When the deadliest whale in history sank dozens of ships off the coast of Constantinople, the Emperor Justinian declared war upon the beast. When the 45-foot-long Leviathan first appeared, the locals had never seen such a terrifying sea monster. Thought to have been a large wayward specimen of a species of toothed whale, its presence in Mediterranean waters was highly unusual. Lying in wait in the narrow and unavoidable Bosporus Strait, the aggressive animal became the terror of merchant and warships alike, ramming their wooden hulls at full speed and sending them to a watery grave. When Justinian was unable to devise a means to eliminate it, the beast continued its reign of terror for the next 50 years. Sometimes disappearing for many seasons before bursting forth from the depths once more. But while chasing dolphins one day, the savage cetacean swam too close to the coast and ended up beaching itself. When the locals who had lived in fear of the Leviathan all their lives saw what had happened, they formed an angry mob and cut the poor whale to pieces. When you're the ancient Mediterranean monster that makes Moby D look like a minnow, they don't just call you the deadliest whale in history. They call you Porphyrios.